This is a treat that you eat by yourself, maybe under a bridge, shielded from the eyes of God. Hello and welcome to another episode of Hacker Whack Snack Edition. Today, we're getting a little devilish. Hmm. Claire, what abject horror do we have today? This is from a Twitter follower or reader. I, you know, we can't we can't guarantee that they actually read Life Hacker, but they do follow me on Twitter. Um, anyway, they responded to a tweet of mine where I was bragging about eating deviled eggs, and they told me to try tiramisu deviled eggs. This is going to upset the Italians, but it's also going to upset people from the South and the Midwest. What is it about this that makes you think that it won't work at all? For me, it's 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 the white. It's the sulfurous aroma that you get with hard boiled eggs, but it's mostly that kind of rubbery white. The white is neutral enough, but it's never sweet. So I don't see how it's really gonna work in a sweet application. Well, there's only one way to find out. So first, so we each have two hard boiled eggs sliced in half and we're going to scoop out the yolks into a bowl. I've never had an egg yolk stay so firmly in the white. It's almost like it knows what's coming. Also, this recipe is only for two eggs, which is like, did they know that you didn't want to eat more of this? It's for a party of one. Okay, now we start adding ingredients. So there goes my cheese. Two tablespoons of mascarpone. A half a teaspoon of espresso powder. And then two teaspoons of honey. I love how everything in this recipe is specifically like just so viscous and hard to measure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Is honey traditional in tiramisu? This is the ingredient that throws me. I don't think so. I haven't made it in a really long time though. And then and then the rum too. I feel like it has a different kind of liquor in it than rum. We should look that up. <laughs> Whoever edits this, put it at the bottom. Okay, two teaspoons rum. I don't have dark rum, so I'm using light rum. Okay, I'm using a stick blender. So we're whipping this into whipped cream? Okay, so now we fold in half of it. Claire, exactly how do you fold in the cheese? You just fold it in. I don't know if I can be any clearer. You simply fold it in. This makes so little. This is what mine looks like. Oh, okay, mine, I think mine looks very similar. First, what I will say, I thought this didn't make very much. My four egg halves are like overflowing and I have like more than twice as much of the filling left. It's a lot of filling, which makes sense because whipped cream, you're adding bulk. You're adding, you know, you're also adding air. Yes. I also only did two, Joel. Well, I did four, Claire, because I live on the edge. Oh God, mine are really ugly. Wait, first you gotta, you gotta see mine. They're just really lumpy. I do like the idea of serving these at a party and just being like, and what about it? They look like they're topped with like breadcrumbs. But I don't blame the recipe for that. I blame me for that. <laughs> Down the hole. Mm -mm. Oh geez, Claire. I went through every emotion in that. The filling tastes good, and that makes sense because it's egg yolk and whipped cream and, and a lot of, you know, of egg yolk. And the egg white though, I can't, I can't get past it. No. I'm it's, sorry. The texture of the egg white and the flavor of it with yeah. that filling, it, it tastes like, it tastes like tiramisu, espresso, and scrambled eggs. When I hit a thicker bite of the egg white, you know, I'm gonna try just, I'm gonna try like, what if you're left, you're left with the end that is mostly white? I'll, I'll try the same. It's confusing. Mm, oh. oh God. But Claire, I will say, any good use of this is, you take your lady finger. Yeah, I know where you're going you with this, And you dip it in the filling. Yeah. And you got yourself a snapper. That's a treat. To call it tiramisu deviled eggs, not the filling, the entire egg. Is it a snack or is it whack? I'm sorry, but it's whack. It's whack. It's kind of revolting. It's disgusting. <laughs> I don't know if I go so far as to call it revolting. I'll, I'll call it confusing. <laughs> 